welcome to another Doctor Who mini review. In today's review, we are taking a close look at the Imperial Daleks from the story Remembrance of the Daleks, which was first broadcast in 1988. So as you can see, there are many action figures here displayed, and these all come from various different sets. So let's take a look at the individual sets that these action figures originally came from. So in this first set we have the Emperor, Davros himself, alongside a destroyed Dalek. Now this set was released way back in March of 2012. So as you can see the figures just look so exquisite. I think the white and the gold colour scheme for the Imperial Daleks on the whole really helped make these action figures just look fantastic. Something that always makes me laugh, if you display Davros like that it kind of looks like he's a baby in a baby carriage. Now this particular figure does have a rather nice feature and that is that you can close the hatch and have Davros displayed just like this. So of course in the episode he first appears like this and when we see him he then opens up his shell to, you know, reveal himself. And there he is, Davros. Alongside Davros is this rather unique looking destroyed Imperial Dalek. This is absolutely fantastic. It's the body of a normal Imperial Dalek, but on the inside, we've got a lot going on. There's a mutant inside there, the detailing is fantastic, and we're even treated to some articulation on the Dalek claw itself. So this particular set I find absolutely fascinating. Second set we have here is the Remembrance of the Daleks Collector's Set. Now this set is simply packed with amazing Daleks. Of course, on the left-hand side of your screen, we have the Imperial Dalek. And we also have a special weapons Dalek, which would later on be re-released as a sound effects talking Dalek. Next to him is the Supreme Dalek, the last actual classic Dalek you see on TV before the new series. And alongside him is a standard Renegade Dalek. So this pack is incredible because not only does it include four amazing Daleks, but it includes two different factions of Daleks. So when you got this set, you could literally have a, a battle of the Imperials versus the Renegades. So talking of the Special Weapons Dalek, here we have the Special Weapons Talking Sound Effects Dalek. Now this Dalek blows my mind every time I look at it. It just looks fantastic. It was just as good on screen and character options have done a fantastic job of capturing this Dalek's likeness. Now as you can see, there's a dirty wash down by the hemispheres, making this Dalek appear to be quite battle-worn. And the articulation in this Dalek is quite unique because it has one big gun which goes up and down. It's basically a tank. Now of course, the best feature of this Dalek is the fact that it speaks. So if I press the hemisphere here, you can hear what the Dalek has to say for himself. I, I obey. Orders received. Primary target lock acquired. Receiving target coordinates. Seek. Locate. Destroy. Target vaporized. What is my target? So as you can see, this Dalek has a very unique sounding voice and it absolutely blows my mind every time I listen to him. Now the sounds you've just heard are actually the secret sounds and to apply those sounds when you first get this Dalek, you have to hold that hemisphere in, like so. Hold it in and there's a button at the bottom. If you switch it off and on again, you hear a little bleep. Now let's take a closer look at the Seventh Doctor, an Imperial Dalek. This was actually the first set to be released, for the Imperial Daleks anyway. In this set, it came with the Seventh Doctor for the first time in his cream jacket, looking absolutely spot on. And of course, he comes with his umbrella. And it was also accompanied by quite possibly one of the best looking Daleks of all time. And that is, of course, the standard Imperial Dalek. Now, what I like about this Dalek in particular is the eye stalk is actually really quite long. And you may be thinking, well, aren't they always quite long? Well, unfortunately, the Imperial Dalek that came with the Dalek Collector set, which I've already shown you, this is the Imperial Dalek which came with it. And as you can see, in comparison, the eye stalks are most definitely different. Now, I think apparently the more screen accurate one is actually this one here, but I just think it looks so small and a little bit out of place, so I definitely prefer this one here with its longer eye stalk. 
So as you can see, me being me, I like to army build my Daleks of course, and it's led me to have three Daleks from the original set from the 7th Doctor and Dalek set, and also a fourth Dalek from the Remembrance of a Dalek set. And of course you can always expect to see the special weapons Dalek, and he will always be very close behind these Imperial Daleks. So thank you very much for watching this review, I will see you all again in my next review. Take care and goodbye for now.